Here in America, there is no more difficult balancing act than the one we're struggling with now between liberty and privacy on one hand and the need for security in a terrorist age on the other. And um, that's embodied in this big debate that is going on as to whether or not Congress should reauthorize elements of the Patriot Act passed post 9-11. And, um, and that needs to be done because they expire by the end of June. A federal appeals court, as I told you on the show this morning, has just ruled that the National Security Agency, the NSA's program post 9-11 of gathering bulk phone data our phone records, millions, billions of phone records, has gone way beyond what Congress authorized and is illegal. So Congress has got to figure out now what to do. And I don't think you can gut the Patriot Act provisions here, the NSA programs, but I do think they're going to have to be modified, reined in, that we're going to have to farm out the storage of all of this data from the government, get it out of the government, into the private sector somehow, and also when you want to go after the terrorists because you think you got something in the phone data, you got to be able to go to a judge and you got to be able to get a warrant before you can do it. I think that is a reasonable compromise here. And another chilling thing that came up on the show this morning that we are going to watch closely, um, the new FBI director, James Comey, is saying that we may have thousands of radicalized, now ISIS believers and potential terrorists in this country, and that ISIS has gotten really clever and morphed in how they recruit. They get people all excited about joining radical Islam and, 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 and killing Americans on social media, and then they send them into encrypted websites where the FBI is losing track of them. That's an absolutely chilling new development revealed by the FBI director. Um, so there's a real debate here, and this is a critical time in our country. And if you want to get in on the debate tonight, join Mike Yaffe, my executive producer, on his own show tonight, Friday night from 8 until 9, right here on WFLA. Same phone numbers that you call for Bud Hedinger Live from 8 until 9 tonight. It's beyond reason, and he'll be taking up those important issues. It's prime time Yaffe. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Join us for Bud Hedinger Live Monday morning right here on the 50,000-watt front porch. And Monday during the 8 o'clock hour, we take your phone calls wall-to-wall -wall on Open Mind Monday. See you then on News Radio 1025 WFLA-FM and still on AM 540.